Matt James apparently shaves his infamous beard ahead of Dancing with the Stars casting. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Shared News from Home. I'm your host, Zachary Reality, here with Morgan Wright, and we're going to get all into this shaven beard. But before we do, I want to remind everyone to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss out on any future videos. So Matt James told his followers that if he got the Instagram crypto account BlockFi to receive 50,000 followers, he would shave his beard. So Morgan, I just checked the account before and we are already down to like 48, 47,000 followers. So I'm just like, did, did his followers trick him? Like, did they only follow him to unfollow him just to get the beard shaved? I mean, probably, you know, all for Matt James doing what he wants to do with the NFTs, but what like a different <laughs> demographic, right? Like, I'm sorry, but me as a single female in my mid twenties, like, I don't know the first thing about NFTs. And that's not saying that young female females can't like NFTs. That's not what I'm saying at all. But most women that are watching The Bachelor are not into cryptocurrency. So I feel like maybe everyone who just really wanted him to shave his beard followed the account. And then as soon as he did, just an unfollow. I know I would do it too, because I just don't care about NFTs. But it's kind of shady though, because he did what we asked him to do. We have been asking him to shave this beard for like 10 months and he finally <laughs> shaved it. So don't you think we could have like at least still followed the account for like a week? Like, did they have to unfollow so quickly? I honestly feel like there might be another reason behind why Matt James actually shaved his beard. And I think we're going to get into that in a little bit. I don't want to spill the tea before you do, Zach. Okay, well, I mean, we were going to say that he is going on <laughs> Dancing with the Stars this season. Yeah. So it is possible that maybe ABC and Dancing told him to shave the beard. Is that what you think? Because I don't think that they would control or care if he had his beard or not. Mm, I think they probably would want to at least like shaped up a little bit because let's be honest, it was a hot mess. It was so long. It wasn't even. Uh, so maybe he just thought, you know, since he's going back on national television, a little cleaner would be nice. And then, I mean, if I were Rachel, I would be like, you got to shave it off. You're going on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> yeah, well, this is what I was going to ask you because we haven't heard anything from Rachel about the beard. She's never really commented public publicly about it. She's always been kissing him. If she really had a problem with the beard, she probably would have shaved it in his sleep, like that one iCarly episode <laughs> or Drake and Josh like a long time ago. Like she would have shaved his beard in his sleep. So would you ever let your boyfriend grow a beard that long? Well, thankfully, my boyfriend cannot grow a beard that long. He, <laughs> oh like, God. I guess doesn't have enough testosterone to grow a full beard. So uh, I'm going to say I would let my boyfriend do whatever he wanted if it makes him happy. Uh, but I would say I am more of a fan of the clean shave. Me as well, especially with Matt James. I was really dying for him to shave that beard, but I wasn't a part of the group that followed and unfollowed. I didn't even know he was doing this petition until it broke news that he shaved his beard. And then I checked out the thing. So Matt James is set to star on Dancing with the Stars. And some of the other contestants that have been revealed are Jojo Siwa, Sunny Lee, and Kenya Moore from the Real Houses of Atlanta. So Morgan, who you got? Who are you rooting for? I know you know all of these people. How do we think Matt is going to do? I think Matt will do well. I'm excited to see him. He does have moves. We've seen him on TikTok. We've seen him, you know, when the credits are rolling and the bloopers. I wish we would have saw that more on the show. I think it would have made Matt's season a little bit more enjoyable, would have made Matt more likable. But he does have some stiff competition. I mean, Jojo Siwa is a professional trained dancer, and Suni Lee is a gold medal gymnast that just came back from the Tokyo Olympics. So it's yes. not going to be a walk in the park for Matt James. It's not. And Kenya Moore also was Miss USA. So she has, you know, experience competing in a big stage pageant. But I think Matt is going to do good. I did watch him on TikTok a lot. He was a part of the quarantine crew with Tyler Cameron. They were always dancing and doing fun jokes. So I'm excited that Matt is getting this opportunity on Dancing with the Stars because a lot of people still think that he's really boring. And I don't get it because I was following him and I was watching him before he was even on The Bachelor. 
And I still follow him now. And I think he's like so funny and has a great personality. So I don't understand why everyone thinks he's so boring. So maybe this will be his redemption story and people can learn more about him. Don't you feel like Dancing with the Stars has become a redemption story for people? I mean, Olivia Jade is also rumored to be joining the cast as well. Yeah, well, I feel like people think Matt James is boring because his season of The Bachelor was boring. You know what I mean? We did not get to see enough of Matt James. And unfortunately, sometimes people just don't care to follow them on social media after their journey is over. Uh, So like you said, I think we're going to see a different side of Matt. I think Dancing with the Stars in general brings out people's playfulness, but also their competitive spirit. Um, So I'm excited. I think he's going to do really good. Yes, I will be cheering him on and I want to see Rachel in the audience. But Morgan, I think the biggest question, the final question is, will he grow his beard back? You know, I think (laughs) that this could be a smart decision for him if he wants to win dancing. If he grows it back, he can be like, he can, you know, tempt people again and be like, well, I'll shave it if you vote for me. But I mean, it probably took him a long time to grow that as well. Yeah, never say never. But I think while he's on dancing, he'll keep it clean. You know, he's got to look good on the ballroom floor, but maybe afterwards he'll let it grow back a little bit. Yes. And we will be looking forward to seeing how he does on Dancing with the Stars and his beard transition. I mean, that thing needs its own Instagram account. So it's interesting that Matt James is joining Dancing with the Stars because they have someone from Bachelor Nation every year. You know, they recently had Caitlin Bristow. They've had some Bachelorettes. And a lot of people are surprised that Katie Thurston didn't end up joining the cast. I mean, what did you make of them choosing Matt out of all the people from Bachelor Nation? I feel like I'm happy that it's Matt. We have had two Bachelorettes um, back to back. So I feel like they needed to switch it up and go with The Bachelor as opposed to The Bachelorette. I've never seen Katie dance before. Can she dance? Do you know? Uh, Yeah, but isn't that the point of the show to get people who don't know how to dance? Well, until you cast people like Jojo Siwa and Suni Lee, who have a professional career in being coordinated. So I guess it just depends on who gets cast. Yeah, that is true. I mean, we haven't had a Bachelor go on Dancing with the Stars for a long time. I think since Chris Souls and I know Sean Lowe did it a long time ago. So I'm excited to see Matt, but it's kind of interesting because Matt's best friend, Tyler Cameron, is rumored to be going on another dancing show called Dirty Dancing. So why didn't Tyler make the cut on Dancing with the Stars? I feel like that's like the more popular dancing show. Yeah, I mean, I've never even heard of the other dancing show. I think it might be a newer show. show. I I honestly have no idea. But, you know, they always are supportive of each other. You know, anytime Tyler's doing something, Matt is like full support and vice versa. Um, I do think it's odd that they're going on dancing shows at the same time. Uh, If I was Tyler, I would kind of wish that I was on Dancing with the Stars as opposed to Dirty Dancing, the the show that nobody's ever heard of before. But I do feel like Tyler Cameron is a big draw for people. So if they know Tyler Cameron is going to be on this new show, they're going to watch it. So I feel like it'll all work out in the end. Yeah, I like that they are so supportive of each other. But I mean, if they weren't, like Tyler could feel a little slighted because Tyler was never The Bachelor. Like they made Matt The Bachelor and Matt was never even on The Bachelorette. And now they're putting Matt on the big screen Dancing with the Stars and Tyler is going on the show that no one's ever heard of. So, I mean, luckily they do have that bromance and that supportive friendship, but I mean, I'm still hoping that Tyler Cameron becomes The Bachelor one day. Do you hope that that is still a possibility? When he's ready. I don't think that he's ready right now. I want to see Tyler Cameron ready to settle down, ready to have a wife, some kids. But until then, we will continue to watch him on Netflix and Dirty Dancing. (laughs) Yes, all of the places. And maybe Tyler Cameron will grow a beard like Matt's one day. So you guys are going to have to let us know what you think about Matt's beard. Are you sad that it's gone? Do you think it was the right decision? Were you one of the people that unfollowed him after he got the 50000 Let us know in the comments down below because that is everything we have to share with you guys. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell because we'll be back with more Bachelor videos. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality, joined today by the lovely Morgan Wright. Our social media handles are on the screen right now. So give us a follow and say hello. And that is all we have. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time in the ballroom. Bye, guys. (laughs)